Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for coming today. We are here to present to you the newest addition to the sports and music industry, our product, Blue Play. I'm Maria, this is Jackson, Ashley, Sarah, Wyatt, and Jacob. And we are a group of six motivated, athletic individuals who want to make a difference in the world. How many people have ever felt the temptation to check their phone while exercising? Studies have shown that texting while exercising negatively impacts balance and stability by 45%. Has your phone ever died from the cold while skiing? How many people are bothered by the struggle of having to stop in the middle of your ski run, having to take off your gloves just to switch your song, and by the end of it, your hands are completely frozen and your phone is dead? Studies have shown that during a 20-minute workout, the distractions of texting puts you in a low-intensity zone for over half of the time, and you spend only a few minutes in high intensity. Leaving the phone alone doubles the intensity of your workout, and you barely spend any time in low intensity. Anything that distracts you from the activity that you're doing, whether it's texting or Snapchatting or checking Instagram, it's going to take away from your workout and give you a much less intense workout. Listening to music, however, motivates you, increases your stamina, and it boosts your workout intensity. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, we have created Blue Play, the world's best Bluetooth music device. Think of it as an iPod shuffle on steroids. Similar to the shuffle, it will be very small, one third of the size, roughly, of your current smartphone. Blue Play will include functional music buttons, and on top of that, voice activation, allowing users two different ways to use their product, whether it's giving it a voice command or pressing a button. Blue Play will also consist of a durable waterproof design, one compatible with different mounts wearable on your wrist, shirt, bike, and more. With Blue Play's Bluetooth feature and long-lasting battery life, listening to and transferring your music could not be much easier. That is why, to support our product, we've created a user-friendly app, one that uh, supports many different music platforms. Simply download the app onto your smartphone and connect your music platforms instantly. Then, using a Bluetooth connection, Transfer your hits from your smartphone over to your Blue Play device in minutes. It's that easy. Let's talk about the benefits of our product. Blue Play allows you to listen to your favorite music outdoors while limiting distractions on your phone so you can enhance your physical performance and make memories. We hope that by disconnecting it from your smartphone, Blue Play allows you to connect with others and really embrace the outdoors. Our product is suitable for all age categories. However, we are going to be an aiming for high school students. So why high school students? We are high school students. We understand them. We know that they're tech savvy, they love music, and they're early adopters. Through using census data, we have found that there are 20 million high school students in North America. 60% of this number are physically active. We created a survey and we sent it out to 100 of our peers. After looking back at the survey results, we are confident that we can capture 10% of the market's interest in our product which, according to our research, is one million potential customers. One of the questions we asked in our survey was, how likely would you be to buy our product? 10% said that they were extremely likely. Another question we asked was, what price would you pay? The average response was $80. Using the price point of $80 and the number of potential customers, which was one million, we found our market size to be $80 million. So there are many versatile music players that exist already, ranging from cheap to expensive and also ranging through connecting through Bluetooth to play music or having music downloaded through a computer. For example, one of our potential partnerships, Scorecheck, sells both Apple Watch and Fitbit. Fitbit requires music to be downloaded through a computer and both these products have features such as touchscreen, which sacrifices its durability and makes it more expensive. Through our survey, we found that all of Blue Play's features are extremely important to our users, such as voice activation, waterproof feature, a wide variety of mounts, and low price, which is key for high school students. For our mount system, we plan on designing a wide variety of mount space for any outdoor activity. Just to list a few, we plan on creating a ski pool mount, a bike handlebar mount, and a shirt clip mount for running. All of our mounts will be sold separately, however, with Blue Play's package, it will come with a wrist mount. So our customers will use our website to purchase Blue Play online. However, Blue Play will also be in a wide variety of retail stores, ranging from Sport Check all the way to local businesses like Forerunners. We are also going to do online advertising. Since our target market are high school students, the best way to reach them is through social media. We will first start off by placing ads on Facebook and Instagram, and if that shows success, expand to Twitter and Snapchat. 
Although teenagers are our main focus, adults who run, hike, ski, and bike also is a large market for us. In order to reach these adults, we will go around the Vancouver area to active events like the Vancouver Sunrun or BMO Marathon. We met with managers at Local Running Room and MEC. Both stores expressed great interest in our product. If Blue Play were to come out onto the market tomorrow, both stores agreed to be our key partners and help us grow on the market. The expected cost to build Blue Play will be $21 per unit. This number includes production, marketing, transportation, and more. We chose to build our product in China due to low labor costs, and we would hold a warehouse in Manitoba to hold our inventory. An additional way we would make revenue is by placing small discrete ads on our mobile app and by selling additional maps. We are also looking to talk to associates of Spotify and Apple Music about potential partnerships with their respective service. Blueplay will be giving 1% of our profits to Outward Bound. Outward Bound is an international nonprofit organization that provides life-changing experiences for all people specifically targeted to youth and high school students. It is funded by donations, so we will be giving back to the community to support high school students just like us to have amazing experiences in the outdoors and disconnect from their phones. We chose Outward Bound because we believe that it has very similar objectives to our company. We both support uh, very active out, uh, uh, outdoor activities and we want people to have the best possible experience outdoors. Blue Play, boost performance, make memories. Thank you. Excellent you, I just want to ask if you guys had any uh, budget for beta testing on your product. Yeah, Jacob will answer that for you. So, yes, it's actually a great question. So, we were planning on doing beta testing locally in North Vancouver. We were going to hire um, a development team to make it as app, an app that we would use as our beta app, and then we were going to manufacture our product here in-house just to test it with some uh, mountain bikers, skiers, like seasonally, and then we're hoping, hoping that we can take that product to our production uh, warehouse in Shenzhen, China, and then we can build our product there with the beta product that we already tested here. A floor is open to the rest of the judges. In order to get the market, the, the price of $21 for manufacturing, how many units have to be in the batch? Um, thank you. So that was scaled price to 200,000 units in the first year. However, that would be the price towards that number. That um, The production is 4 million in that uh, 200,000. But that if we don't sell that many, we could lower the price. So it kind of depends on our first two quarters. Thank you. Can you clarify uh, what percentage you'd like to sell online versus, oh, sorry, what percentage you'd want to sell through other platforms versus direct to your own? And if you have thought about your own, have you thought about shipping and handling? Uh, yes, I'll answer the first question, um, part of that question. So absolutely, we would love to have most of our customers purchase through our website because then we can avoid the fee that we uh, pay to retailers. However, it is known that retailers usually get more customers than online revenue, so it would obviously depend on how many online customers we would get. But our goal is through online. Uh, to follow up on that answer, um, there is going to be shipping and um, transport fees that would be paid, and that's going to be in addition to the price of the product, um, and that would be paid by the end user. Just, just going back to the, um, the market opportunity, have you done um, any analysis on, with, especially with the advancements of you know, uh, Bluetooth headsets and, and wireless um, features built into those headsets that offer almost the same controls, uh, uh, that um, being a, 
uh, kind of a, a encroachment on what kind of market opportunity you're going after. That's the first question I had. And then the second was around um, uh, voice. Well, there, there's also these advancements that have happened in voice recognition um, that also uh, interrupts your, your market opportunity. And the third question was around IP. Have you done any work on the IP area? Yeah, so to answer your first question, um, Basically, the market that we are targeting is um, active individuals that are um, in high school. So we really understand this market because we're all very physically active ourselves. We um, know the market very well. And our whole angle is trying to, as much as um, phones, as much as like, we love our phones, um, we want to not be distracted while we're, um, while we're working out, while we're being physically active. Our angle is more towards um, like trying to uh, create a product that is in between um, being able to work out and not being distracted and having to have an intense workout, um, but without having the distractions that your phone brings you. Could you just repeat the second part of your question again? Thank you. So along the same area in terms of just, um, you have certain advancements that are on the phones and the headsets now with like do not disturb, as well as the features that are built into your your Bluetooth headset that allow you to get to the same place? Um, yes, yeah, so that's kind of where our voice activation comes in. Um, the goal of our voice activation system was to provide for an easy accessible product, uh, one that doesn't take much work. So with commands such as uh, switching playlists to switching songs, uh, we want to make an easy and simple product. Awesome. Can I ask uh, any judge who's asked a question and doesn't have another question to just turn their light off so that I can? You have another one, but that one first. Okay. Sure. Great. Um, outstanding presentation. So polished, guys, and beautifully coordinated. Very well done. Um, very curious about your online marketing strategy. And I have to admit, this is one of the older people uh, in the audience compared to you, of course. Um, I was taken aback that your strategy was uh, Twitter and Facebook. My understanding of the data is you guys aren't interested in that anymore. So can you tell tell me a little bit more about that? I'm curious. <laughs> So we're actually planning on going on Facebook and Instagram. Facebook, because there's so many adult running groups and hiking groups on there, so that'd be a very easy platform to get to our adults. And Instagram, because young teens use that, and adults not so much, so we want to use both to reach both markets. Uh, Rochelle, did you have a question? <coughs> no? Chris, okay. Great work. Just a question. Have you contemplated A, that you're probably breaking a bunch of licensing agreements with the services, and B, what the cost of that is? Like Spotify, Apple Music, they don't really like to play with each other so much, and they, there's a cost to utilizing their services if they even allow it. Have you, have you looked into that at all? Um, we were planning on looking into uh, connecting with Spotify and Apple Music with respect to our app a little bit more in the future. Um, in terms of cost of our app, we're looking at around $200,000 to create a well thought out and uh, detailed app to start off. One more thing to add, Apple Music and Spotify both have public APIs that we can use in development with our app. So there is accessible um, services that they use. Now we do have to look more into playing together with both of them. I know there are um, services like Sonos, home speakers that do have access to both of those. So we just need to work around that and have both services running on our app properly. Yeah, there's, there's, like I said, there's a cost associated with it. And then with the public APIs, that's, that is correct. But you have to be streaming it from your phone if that was the case, which defeats what you're trying to do. Right. Trish, did you have one? Yes. <coughs> Actually, I had two questions. Great presentation, by the way. So the first question is, you included $2 of um, marketing in your production costs. What was the reason for that? Um, thank you, that's actually a great question. So the $2 was because if we spend um, 2000 to 5000 a month on marketing costs throughout different uh, social media services, we would break that down into our product and Per, uh, per unit, $2 of that $80 um, price for the product would be going into the marketing. Yeah, it just not, it's not um, like common for you to put the marketing cost in your production costs, because you want to know how much it costs in you per unit, period, without including the marketing, and then your marketing budget will be your marketing budget. So thank you for answering that. The second question was, I am a big fan of keeping the business local. 
did you get any estimate at all as to how much it would cost you to produce this at home rather than in China? So, so uh, we, while I would look into producing local, we, we're looking more into areas in Manitoba because it's much more centralized, so we can reach out to across Canada that way, because uh, Manitoba is in like the center of Canada. So we were looking there. It would be much more, it would be probably like 40% more to purchase our, uh, to manufacture our product in Canada. Um, we are going to build the software side of it here and do beta testing here, but um, for the final product, the hardware would be built in uh, um, overseas just because the prices are um, much lower. Than okay, the follow-up question to that is, not all products are created equal. There are many times that people get the product from overseas, and by the time it gets here, it's not really what you're expecting, and the durability is not the same. Did you look into that, and did you actually get a sample so you can see that it is what you would be looking for? And that's actually a great question. We didn't have time to get a sample uh, per se, but we did look at uh, manufacturing a beta product here and then doing the final version there, and the product would be um, produced and shipped in three to four weeks, so that would be, um, it wouldn't have much time to change much, and we would also, for the initial part of the manufacturing, when we meet the uh, teams in overseas, we would have a look at the first couple batches of the product just to assure quality and uh, how we'd like to see it. Thank you. We have time for one more quick question. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, uh, first things first, what would you do if Apple decided to bring back iPod Shuffle and it's waterproof? And second one, when you think about your competitors, where do you think you fit in? Like, who are your biggest competitors and where do you play, essentially? Thank you. So we, be uh, we believe that our biggest competitors are both Fitbit and uh, Spotify Mighty Vibe. So with uh, Fitbit, it is uh, essentially waterproof, but the problem with that is the music is downloaded through a computer, through just a, UBC, a USB Type-C cord. Um, with Spotify Mighty Vibe, we are very similar to it in the sense that um, it has Bluetooth feature, just, to, just like our product does. However, our product, uh, Blue Play, is multi-platform, so with both Apple Music and Spotify, for as uh, Spotify Mighty Vibe is just suited for Spotify. Uh, just to follow up on that question, uh, thanks for asking. Um, we believe what really separates us as a product is, uh, so say if iPod brought back the, or Apple brought back the iPod Shuffle, um, you'd have to expect it to have better features such as waterproof and voice activation like ours. It would be a more expensive product. Uh, we were looking at lower pricing to be one of our benefits, uh, along with all these great features. All right, and with that, thank you very much. Thank you.